Hey guys, this is Chris J with Johnson Scripts, and I wanted to make a short video today on configuring the Firebase hosting uh, with a GoDaddy domain name. I initially had some issues with this, um, and I wanted to take you through it step by step. Now, this is for after you've already configured and deployed your app on Firebase, and I'm going to make a video on how to do that as well, um, but for now, where we are is in the uh, Firebase console hosting, and um, you can see the domain names that my app is currently uh, being hosted on. These are the, the defaults that Google gives you. If you click on one of them, um, you can open up uh, my app. So now we're going to go back, and we're going to, um, at this point, you should have a domain on GoDaddy. Uh, if you go to GoDaddy, Go to your username on the top right, and you go to My Products. You'll have all your domains listed here, and the one I'm going to use is this weeklyclock.com. Now, if I click on the three dots on the right and go to Manage DNS, it'll bring up the DNS records. Now, we can see our records here. Um, I did have an A record, and you will too. I delete that. It's necessary. Um, because we're going to replace them with the values that Google provides. So if we go back to the Firebase console and we go to add custom domain, uh, we're going to type in our domain name, hit continue. And um, now this opened up in advanced. Uh, for you, it will most likely open up a quick setup. Uh, but either way, I'm going to go through both. Uh, so no sweat. Now it's going to provide you with uh, record type, uh, host, and a value here. We're going to copy the value and we're going to go back to GoDaddy and add an A type record. The host is going to be at, that means root, uh, and that uh, essentially means your domain, and it's going to point to this Google address um, provided by Firebase. Now, for time to live, I'm going to do 600 seconds, which is um, I usually go to and save that. Back to Firebase, grab the second value, and then back to the uh, GoDaddy DNS. Uh, add another A record. Post again that, and it points to its address. Uh, time to live again, custom, 600 seconds. I'm going to save that. Um, so let's go through the advanced setup as well, because uh, you may be prompted with a TXT instead of an A record, which is fine. Um, you can see that it's providing you with two values now, a host and a value. We're going to copy both, uh, one at a time, obviously. And uh, we're going to add a TXT record. Uh, we're going to put in that uh, value for the host that provided by Firebase, and then copy the Google verification value and put that as the TXT value. Time to live. Uh, again, I'm going to customize that to 600 seconds and save it. All right, so now our Firebase records are updated in our GoDaddy domain. We go back to Firebase um, and hit this next button here. It's going to say, wait for your certificate to be provisioned. This may take up to 24 hours, and that's OK. Um, you went, if you went through the steps, um, how I just did, you're fine. It will take up to 24 hours to provision. But what we can do in the meantime, if you want to take a look at your URL here, you're going to see uh, a little message that says your connection is not private. Um, that's good. If it were configured incorrectly, it would say this page would be unable to load. But because it says your connection is not private, that means Google is generating a token uh, to secure the connection uh, between your app and the GoDaddy domain name you provided. Uh, what you can also do is go to DNS, what's my DNS.net, and you can enter uh, the domain name um, that you just entered uh, with A as the type of record we're looking for, hit search, and you can see that the 
Google, Firebase, uh, any type records that are provided are coming up on um, most servers around the world right now. So that's good. So that means it's provisioned correctly. Um, you just have to wait a day uh, for it to fully launch, and that's okay. Just uh, close the dialog box. Um, now you're going to see it's going to prompt you, do you want to add www.yourdomain.com as well? Yes, you do, because most people probably type that in. Um, hit continue, and we've already set up all these records, so just hit finish, and you're done. All right, so you can see pending. Um, that's good. And then eventually, uh, tomorrow, what it's going to look like is this, where it says connected, and um, you're going to be able to just go to your, the domain name um, that you linked it to, and it will bring up your app. Um, so if you have any remaining questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching.